In today's video, you will learn how to use this free AI tool for designing graphics and illustrations that look like this. With your name and your brand, that too in less than 60 seconds. We'll use AI to make images, badges, text effects, logos and a lot more. In fact, I'll also share websites where you can apply for remote graphic design freelance jobs as well. Watch this video till the end because three of you will end up winning a combo set of design books for your creative career. So without further ado, let's get started. So this free tool is called Kittle and folks, Trust me when I say this, it is a game changer. This video is sponsored by Kittle, but I can assure you that no other AI graphic design tool can achieve results that look this good. At least I don't know a tool that is as simple and as powerful as this. And you will believe me in just five minutes. To get started, just go to kittle.com and create your free account. You don't need any previous knowledge. It works on any laptop. Absolutely nothing is required to get started. Now about the giveaway, if you follow everything that I teach, make your own avatar poster and post it on LinkedIn or Instagram tagging me and Kittle, then you will stand a chance to win a super valuable book combo that has not only helped me, but countless other designers in their careers. Three winners living in India will get this combo delivered to their doorsteps. Rest of the rules are going to be in the description. Now let me show you how Kittle works. All right, so once you create your free account on Kittle, you will be directed to their dashboard and they have tons of free templates to start from. Now, before I get into the templates, I'll first tell you how exactly does this UI work. Okay, on the very top, you have a couple of categories. So let's just say you click on logos, then you'll instantly have all of these very, very cool logo templates. Now I'll tell you why this is extremely powerful. Let's just say I really like these Y2K logos. This is a very vintage, very gamified uh, concept. Usually in all of the conventional design tools, you would have to go through multiple files and multiple effects to create this. The interesting part here is that you have your template in the center and all of your important tools are on the left side. And I'll take you through all of these things one by one. Let's just say I really like this super wave style and I want this super wave to say Ansh Mehra. I can literally click here, double click till I reach my text, double click again to make this editable. And here I will say Ansh and then in the next sentence, I can double click and say Mehra. Isn't this extremely seamless? It literally took two seconds to create this entire thing. So let's just say you really like this hyper birds thing, right? So I can double click on this and say design and legends. Okay. Now, of course, this is not uh, coming into a single line. So I have these anchors here. If I take these and stretch them, you'd realize that all of these things fit very, very seamlessly. And I can take this legends and literally keep it here and look how seamless this is. Now, let's just say you don't like the color, right? You click on this entire thing. You have this thing called group colors on the top right corner. Just take this and change the color. Isn't that super, super seamless? Like I have never seen a platform that is doing this so seamlessly that to online, like I haven't downloaded anything. Now let's just say you have to start from scratch. Okay. Let's figure out the first icon right here, which is my projects. I'll go here and click on new project. It'll ask me an artboard size. So you can choose any of these templates. Let's just say you want to make an Instagram post. You can either choose a prefet template or change your settings from here. Let me click on create. Now this is where the game changes. As soon as I select the Instagram post format on the left side, you can already see that the templates window is open and I have such crazy templates available for me. So if I go to the promotional tab, you have all of these cool, cool templates to use from. So you can upload your own image. You can do whatever you want, right? So let's just say I really, really like something fancy. So let's pick something which looks very new. Let's take this one because I'm a big fan of bold colors right now. You have this template available. You can literally go here and say Ansh Mehra, right? New workshop and say limited seats or actually just say few seats so that it fits easily and you can put this in the center and now I have this flash seal text here right and you can see that there's a lot of cool shadows happening. This is where the concept of text effect comes in. Okay, so let me call this as UX AI 
okay and in my sale i'll call this as meetup okay and because this is not fitting i have a lot of options here so i can reduce the text size let me reduce it to a point where it fits in a single line so i think this one looks very very cool and details in bio right and let's just say you want to reorder some things right so on the bottom right corner you have the layers panel where you can hide any of these things so let's just say i want to hide even a new workshop as well right or actually let new workshop stay i want to do something where the effect looks slightly different so here on the right side you have the transformation option where you have a couple of styles okay so if i go to meetup and select rise now all of this is now malleable so i can literally take this and edit it in whatever way i want it is literally dragging and everything is rendering in real time i know that i'm going very funky with this but you get the point if i delete this and just select ux and ai and make a circle out of it you can reduce the font size maybe make it as 150 and you can double click on it and then add your own text now you can take any of this text. Let's just say I get rid of the meetup text and I have UX and AI with me. Okay, I'll make the font size say 120 and instead of angle, I will choose circle. So I can double click on this. Once I go outside, I wanna double click on this and say UX AI meetup Delhi. Okay, and I can put that in a circle and here you go, everything is editable. But now I have an error that says try lowering the font size or increasing the size. Right, so you can go and click on edit transform and you can increase the size, right? Just like this, uh, you can also put it in a different angle and it is usually recommended to either have a bigger circle or have more letter spacing. So I can increase the letter spacing, maybe call it at 24, maybe keep the font size at 90 and you can obviously see how easy and useful this is right now i would probably go back to something which is way way simpler so what i can do is i can click on flash sale again and it will say that this action replaces your current project so if i click on replace i can always go back to where i was now when i go to my text effects they have four really cool shading options so if i click on the first option it's a normal drop shadow if i do this that's an extended stroke this one has a 3d stroke and this one gives you a proper outline and you can and you can decide the level of offset you can decide the angle as well it's almost like rendering in real time which is extremely cool you can also change the color maybe make this uh, red or pinkish uh, you know slightly dark or maybe you can also choose something which matches the background but i think black works really really well i think the entire contrast comes out really well and you can also change the color of the stroke as well so instead of having a color that looks like this you can always have something that looks either white or maybe even darker you know like you can go crazy uh, with all of these possibilities and if you zoom in by default this text has a texture right because there's a texture layer on the top and i'll show you how that works but they also have these decoration features right which are supremely cool and you can increase the weight you can increase the distance and of course you can see how crazy this looks now it doesn't end here because let's just say i delete all of this now the crazy part here is that I can change the background. I can literally go to my background and change the background color. Let's just say I keep something which is probably in a red shade and let's make it darker so that the paper texture comes out and let's take this one right here. So this entire thing is now set. Uh, you don't have to buy any templates. All of these things are very, very easily accessible and you can change all of this. So I can literally double click and say Ansh Mehraz, right? And let me just delete this Ansh Mehra's best quality meetups, right? India 2024, right? Double click on it, UX and AI folks. Can you imagine it took me just 10 seconds to create this entire thing? This is amazing if you think about it right and then if i go let's just say i get rid of the background i get rid of the texture i take this entire group and let's just say i make this black i can click on the mock-up option and your mind is going to be blown now 
they have built in mockups that you can test on t-shirts on mugs on so many things and then you can show that to your client so when i go to mockup colors i can change the color of my t-shirt and you can literally do all of this in real time you can test out all of your ideas without any issue at all so that's a pretty bad color i think i would like stick with white because i just like white in general but you can choose paper flat lays you can choose tags you can choose t-shirts you can choose t-shirts with people as well so i can literally take my entire design and probably scale it this way put it in the center and then i can change the color of her sweatshirt and then actually use this as a proper mock up and if you go you'll have a lot of templates to choose from if i were to go back to templates you'd realize that they have a lot of interesting things that are you know either for social media for logos for t-shirts for brand boards like it never ends but the crazy part here is that you can add your own textures and if i click on kittle ai this is where the game changes so now i'm going to teach you how you can use kittle ai x1 to create your own anime so let's just say you have a really cool image style right so you can either choose a clip art style or you can either choose a sketch uh, let's just say i want to go ahead with something that looks like an anime right so selected anime and i will say an anime character and i'm describing myself right young male black eyes big ears decent black hair white t-shirt with blue blazer smiling okay and let me click on generate image so without even leaving the tool i am now able to create ai generated images logos create mockups out of it download it as a png as a vector file which is going to be an svg do all of this in one single platform and the platform is free to use and here you go look at this picture it is actually very very cute and let me keep myself here in the center and on the right side you have a couple of image tools right so if i click on ai background remover it will remove the background and keep this person in isolation all right so now it has removed the background it has done a really really good job by the way like it is insane how ai is able to do all of these tasks and what i'm going to do is i'm going to scale this up keep myself right here and let's add a cool background okay so what i can do is i can go to elements i can take a basic shape and put it behind me okay and this is something that you have to do as well i will be looking forward uh because if you make this well you're going to get a free book not one actually you'll get three books so i'm going to take this basic shape and maybe change the background color i want to make like something super bright uh make it look like super super anime type cool so now that i've added the color let me go to text let's add some interesting text and let me take this blacksmith brewery and put it right here and let me keep it pura ka pura piche theek hai and i'll take this entire group so this is my group right here i'll put it behind my image and let me just take this entire group and let me make this first of all white in color so the contrast is cool and let me make this established in 1998 because that is the year i was born uh let me call this as ansh mehra and i think the back text is barely visible so let me just bring it here and let me just take this entire thing i'm not going to select the basic shape just keep it right here and let's take brewery let's call this as ux designer okay and i'll just extend the entire width let me let me decrease the font size so that it is visible and let me just delete this city thing because i don't think it's going to be visible anyway and i can take this designer thing keep it here and let me bring this guy here with a subtle overlay right i want the anshmara to stand out so let me take this shadow right here so let's have a cool offset and let's have it maybe in color which is slightly darker and what i can do is i can select this again go to my effects and make the angle maybe 180 degrees or actually we can also check out something which is absolutely at the bottom right so i think this looks very very cool and like a very subtle offset and let me try some decorations as well so i think a diagonal decoration looks super super cool so let me go here let me increase the weight let me increase the distance as well right and i want to make this slightly 
you know less jarring to the eye so i'm going to keep it like very very light and let me go here again and let's just have something which is in this direction amazing another very cool feature is of the texture so i can literally select any of these textures and make this look a uh, slightly more a uh, grungy slightly more like detailed and more nuanced so as you can see it is coming on my face uh, of course you can click on grunge textures and get all of these things in one single go and if i were to change the background color let's just say i go to my basic shape and you know change the color you'd realize that when i shift to a darker tone uh, things start becoming really really interesting right so i think the red looks super sharp and i'm also getting the urge to make this red as well like red is one of my favorite colors i think even black would look super cool uh, so yeah see i am like literally just experimenting uh, i literally made this in less than 5 minutes you can see this as well and once you have made it uh, you can click on download and do all of these things but i think it's very very easy to imagine the kind of stuff that you can do uh once you have access to a tool like this because now you don't have to imagine and make stuff and you know go through all of those complicated tools you can do all of these things like use all of these designs in one single place because let's just say i really really like i saw something very interesting right here right so i really like this one cool and it has a very grunge a very horror sort of a tone to it uh, but i like it maybe it's for a party maybe it's for a very cool event so you can change all of this content very very easily right and because this entire template is editable you know you can go to the layers panel and just like switch things around so you can enable and disable specific items you know and do so many crazy things so this is a very very powerful tool for a person who's just starting out and doesn't want to spend time you know just learning complicated tools because everything is happening online and with so many fonts you know they have such a great collection of fonts and templates so yeah i just feel like it's a really really good place to you know start out if you want to learn about their shortcuts you can click on this thing right here you will have all of the shortcuts right here if you click on the help section and click on tutorials uh, you will have access to some really really detailed tutorials some really really cool text effects that you can learn uh, that you can sell as a freelancer by the way if you're wondering where do you list out your services this is a list of websites where you can apply for freelance jobs so what you need to do is you need to learn a tool like kittle you need to build a portfolio and then have a pro proper notion page where you document all of your work it can either be your website it can either be a notion page you can create your portfolio on kittle as well and then start reaching out to people from this website you can put up your portfolio on any of these websites and trust me when i say this a tool like this can save hours of your work and when you actually spend time learning these tutorials you'd realize that graphic design has now become very very accessible so the tools have become very very easy and it is your responsibility to make the most of them if you want me to explain more of these features and details because this was a very short video i just wanted to show you what all is possible let me know in the comment section if you want a dedicated playlist on how you can learn kittle you can use kittle today for free and if you want to take things to the next level then you can use my promo code ansh to get 50% off discount on the first month of your kittle pro plan Let me know in the comments if you want more detailed videos on how you can use Kittle because I really think this tool has immense potential especially for those who don't want to spend too much time learning other complicated tools. If you're here for the first time make sure you click on subscribe and hit the bell icon because we regularly make videos on tech and design. With that being said I hope that you're taking care of your mind and body. This is your dost Ansh Mehra signing out. If you enjoyed this video then do check out this video of the same series I am sure that it will help you even more